major problem, and that's the reason why I said, uh, let me say something. Now, when you have those who are really bad, ideally, they are supposed to be inpatients, which means they should be brought to the hospital for treatment. Yeah. But they are also criminals, convicted criminals. So what do you do? We can't help them. We don't have, we have hospitals, not uh, asylums for them. So we don't have such facilities. So that's a real challenge. So these patients, unfortunately, have to remain in the correctional centers without the treatment they require because of this uh, challenge. Now, the solution would have been if they had qualified um, mental health experts there. But I'm sorry to say that um, even now, what we find is a lot of the people who handle these, um, these um, people in these correctional centers are not even experts. Some of the nurses are general nurses, they are not mental health nurses. Many of the, those who are supposed to be giving psychotherapy are not, uh, they are just general. I know you, you need to be a clinical psychologist to give those ones. They are general psychology, they are psychologists. And you know there are, the field of psychology is, is, a, is a huge one. So unfortunately, people don't know the difference. So they bring in some, for example, somebody who is a social psychologist or who is an industrial psychologist in London, he's not trained to do clinical psychology or to do psychotherapy. Like I said, psychotherapy is a treatment modality as well as uh, uh, diagnostic and evaluating uh, uh, process. So these are some of the challenges we have. So um, there was a time, even then, the other issue is that we have been funding this, this treatment. I mean, we, we have to take our staff there with vehicles. Who funds these vehicles? There was a time we had a, a request from Delta State. We, we had to re refuse it because traveling to Delta State requires more logistics. So these are things that perhaps uh, the committee may wish to look at when it comes to uh, funding. The, the other thing I wanted to mention, sir, is that because we mentioned the mental health and the importance of it, you know, we now have lots of victims of uh, terrorism, kidnapping. What you see on TV is that they've been rescued and they have been presented by the governor to the people. And then that's it. Then they say they are, and they, they've just been checked for physical, maybe some of them have injuries. But I dare say that the real injury is in the mind. And if you don't handle it, that child becomes a dangerous person in the future because of what they've gone through. So I, I think the committee should also look at this uh, to ensure that there's integrated mental health uh, therapy for those category, and it's a huge category now because every day we hear of kidnappings and killings. Thank you, sir. Okay.